Hello, my name is John Cleveland representing Power Up Lubricants. What we're going to demonstrate for you today is a product called Fixo Grease made by Power Up. One of the products we're going to be demonstrating against is a lithium complex grease put out by a reputable manufacturer that costs somewhere between five and six dollars a tube. Now this grease has an okay Timken rating of a hundred pounds. I've explained in an earlier segment that this is a modified version of the OK Timken Low Test. And so uh, this actual machine that we're going to test this grease on was actually designed for testing greases. So we're going to take this um, case hardened Timken roller bearing. We've got a case hardened race. We're going to make a dry run here. And to set, explain how this machine is set up is these are one pound weights and for every weight that we put on here we've got a, a fulcrum advantage of 35 to 1. So for every one pound is like putting 35 pounds of pressure uh, on that bearing per square inch. But we're running on the size of a pinhead and the engineers back at the Marin Laboratory tell me that on a new contact error on that race and on that bearing uh, these weights can re actually represent over 7,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. So it doesn't take a lot of weight to get this bearing to seize up. Let me demonstrate. Okay, we've seized up at four weights dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this grease and we're going to cover the race. And I'm going to be very generous. We've got that race completely covered with grease. Once you get a close up on this race here, and I want you to notice that I've got grease all the way around the race and even in the center here. This is kind of how we test uh, pressure and drip point. Now we're going to turn our roller bearing to a new spot. We've already seized up the bearing. So we're going to turn it to a new spot. Before we do that, let's take a look at the spot that we had so we have something to compare to. Okay, I'm going to turn the machine back on. We're running on a clear spot on the bearing now. I'm going to take the four weights off and anything over four weights we're going to attribute to the grease. This grease actually took seven weights, which is pretty good. I'm going to turn the machine off. One thing I want you to pan up on is the bearing itself, and I want you to know, notice how much grease is actually protecting the bearing. There's very little grease actually on the bearing itself. And if you're looking for I'm seeing, the, two, uh, the grease is actually parted and allowed the metals to get into each other. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this right where it failed and I'm going to add some Fixo grease. And This is kind of a... I'm just going to put some Fixo grease on my finger I'm going to leave the seven weights on here and as this bearing is failing I'm just going to rub a little Fixo grease right in the middle of the race and I want you to listen to the difference. There's two reasons that I do it this way. One is to show you the compatibility of Fixo grease. Now basically, all we've done with the Thixo grease is we've added the Thixo grease into the center. I've left the red grease and I coated the red grease on the inside of that race so when we get this thing hot, we're going to demonstrate the drip point. We're running quiet and smooth. 
After we add the thick so grease, we're also going to add some more white. I'm actually going to double the load. Okay. 